Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome everybody. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I'm just finished with this DIY and I decided to film the intro after I did that DIY and I love it. I love how it turned out. It looks so cute and it looks so rustic and modern at the same time. So if you want to see how I did this DIY, stay tuned and let's get to it. We would need a three different sizes of hoops. These hoops are for embroidering and cross stitching. So I decided to uh, get three uh, hoops of different sizes. You would need this burlap twine, gold spray paint, and a hot glue gun. First things first, all you need to do is to measure your twine, wrapping it around your hoop. Pinch your twine and kind of wrap it around three times. So you would have three strings just like that. So this is going to be your first layer. And then you're going to have or wrap your burlap twine again in different direction. So let this twine go, fold it in half and measure two strings of similar size. Side and I'm ready to do my second step. Lay your twine down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Shake your paint and then paint your twine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just paint, uh, give your twine a little bit of a gold color. It looks uh, good, so let's do the same thing with the rest of my twine. As soon as your twine dries, we are ready to do this cute uh, wall decor. So get your first hoop and separate it. You're gonna be starting with your inside hoop. Get one of the twine that you measured for your bigger hoop. Lightly glue your twine to the hoop. So just enough for it to hold. Every single time you are wrapping your hoop around, just put a little bit of hot glue so it would hold. Cut the axis. With your second twine, I'm going to be going in a different direction. So Putting my inside uh, into my outside, uh, definitely the thinner the twine, the better it's going to look uh, in the middle of uh, your hoops. 
Next step is to get your succulents. These are very uh, cute. I bought them on Amazon. They have different styles and you're just going to feed it in, into your twine and make your own design. And of course, if necessary, glue it down to your twine. I ended up attaching this succulent without gluing, so I just bended uh, the um, a longer stem and then I kind of took those longer um, leaves or stems and kind of intertwined them with the twine so it would hold. I wanted to switch some succulents around, so I uh, took succulents from my biggest hoop and uh, transported them into my smaller hoop. I ended up not gluing it down, I was just kind of intertwining uh, or twisting it with the wire and it stays uh, pretty securely. So this one's here and then I'm going to add this one's here as well. This is how the biggest uh, hoop turned out with the different succulents and I love it. By all means, if you want to glue your succulents down, please do so if you're planning to keep this for a long time. So by all means, uh, please glue everything down. I don't glue this down, I, it just interwined and kind of holding on these twines by itself with the succulent um, wires that I twisted around the twine. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the comments down below, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, all the prices, all the supplies, everything that you need to know, I'll be listing in the description down below. So don't hesitate, just go there and check it out. If you're interested in this DIY, you'll find everything that you need in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.